Round two, and we win the die roll. Yes. Definitely want to play first with this deck. One, two, three, four. We have a morph and some good spells, so I'll keep, but it's a pretty slow start. But we got all the manas and really powerful stuff, so. Hopefully, we just don't run in a situation like that other game where uh, removal spell takes out. We don't draw any uh, decent threats. I'm really happy to be in round two, of course, because I like to win. But I really don't feel like I earned that win last game. Or last match. Well, specifically last game, but in general, last match. I definitely feel like I uh, played poorly, or not optimally. Both, I suppose. And then kind of got a little bit lucky there. So I'm glad I was recording, because I really want to go back and look at that match and kind of see under, you know, without the glare of the l white lights of recording, see what uh, I could have done a little bit better there. Um, I'll still take three. So my opponent doesn't really have anything here, but I don't want to trade my 5-2 for the 2-1 gain life while well, I have no other uh, board presence, so I'll just hang on. I get to turn it up next turn. Uh, or not. Happy to play my Bonkin. Mm, I'm, not I'm not blocking, like I said, so make my opponent use up some mana here with the regen. Which is fine. It is what it is. Probably outlast next turn and then oh, we'll see what else we have. Attacking for three, go for it. My opponent doesn't know this is a five two on the back end and is missing a land drop. So yeah. Well, we open both our guys to removal, but my opponent's missing lands here, so I do want to take advantage of uh, a huge life point swing. Boink. You thought you were winning that race, weren't you? You're really not. There we go. Sultai colors are online now. Interesting. So my opponent is definitely tapping out, knows it's good to get a point of damage in, and wants to keep the game back for some D. While there's a morph online, which isn't as great with Feet of Resistance, interestingly enough. But I do think we get to have some fun with Ride Down again. Probably gets blocked by Highland Games. Bonkin might also get blocked as well. If that's the case, we can put a feeder resistance on. Or murderous cut. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a two turn kill. We're going to do a ride down on whatever blocks. Ideally, it's the morph, but whatever. It goes, my opponent goes to 15, but it takes five. That's not really a two turn kill. I don't have anything else to regress the board. I don't want the Bondkin to necessarily trade with just a random dork, so we're probably just going to do uh, this with a ride down and then uh, outlast the Bondkin. Yep. And we get to keep Feet of Resistance available, so that's kind of cool. Man, ride down, especially with this Canyon Lurkers. I mean, I thought this card was good, but it's it's proven pretty nice. But I might be a little just, you know, happy that it's worked with a Canyon Lurker so well with 5 power, dude. And maybe the Canyon Lurkers I'm un underrating. I do like the 4 mana morph, morph cost. Murder's Cut can take care of this morph if it gets a little out of hand. Uh, not this turn, necessarily, of course, but, uh, you know, if it's something really scary, then fine. Later on. It'll get to uh, attack through next turn. Ooh, Aven? Is it an Aven? No, just another morph. I thought my opponent was flipping the morph. That can get annoying on the on the bounce. So we attack in with both.
We can play Murderous Cut and Feeder Resistance right now. And I'm trying to figure out if there's a way for me to make that super optimal. My opponent still doesn't have lands. Um, first Strike. So if I Morph takes out a Canyon Lurkers, I don't really have Trample, so it's not particularly fine, but putting a Feeder Resistance on it is really nice, so it can stay alive, and then now it's a 5-3, so it's harder to block, but that was kind of my game plan for like the long game, versus Murderous Cut. Anuk Bonkin can only be double blocked to be killed, and if that's the case, then that's taking the Feeder Resistance. So yeah, we're going to use the Feet right now, one way or another, start clearing the way. But with the Murderous Cut back up, I'm okay with that. And we should be able to do Assault Roll Patrol and then have Lethal with a Trumpet Blast in the near future. I guess you use a Trumpet Blast in my opponent double blocks too. Uh, the, the first striker. Alright, so we use some Feetsies here. Um, it doesn't really matter. I don't know. Oh, I should have thought about my opponent. Ooh, I'm glad the Absent guy. There's actually the uh, the Black Death Toucher. I should have. Uh, so I'm glad I did Black, but like uh, I didn't really think that through. Also, there's the Green Three One uh, Trampler that you reveal a Green card. So it's either Black or Green. So um, don't do what I just did. Is the moral of that story? Then we'll get our two five out. And if my opponent's still screwed on lands, then I'm pretty sure this game's in our favor. The opponent draws lands and has some really nice, powerful, you know, four to five drops, then this will be a bit of a challenge. Good news is we can Murder's Cut and Trumpet Blast next turn. So that should put a lot of pressure on my opponent. Yeah. And we get the Ice Feather Aven. That's what you had there, my friend. It, that is a good card indeed. Always pay attention to those morphs. All right, is this a relevant card? I don't know. That was a card I don't think I played very well last in the match. I'm not on the on the play, so I'm not gonna play the Valley Dashers, which even I'm not too sure is grand. Still don't still don't like this main deck uh, trumpet trumpet blast. We saw Smite the Monstrous target with the really nice Abzan guide. That was the only one we saw. I do want to be aware of that Aven. I think we bring it in. I still think this is a, a double Trumpet Blast deck. Yeah, I don't think that's the right build. I don't think I'm doing that correctly. Right. Uh, we don't have our black mana, but that's the splash anyway. And we have a two to three to four drop. So yeah, life is looking good. And a removal spell, no less. Hey, another four drop, which can replace the timely horde mate. Two drop. What you got? Ooh, Rattleclaw Mystic. That is a good card. Interesting. My opponent's not going for the morph version of it which is really good. If my opponent attacks with it, I will happily trade, especially because I will probably be able to get a uh, get it back with a Timely Horde Mate, but my opponent, of course, is just using it for some sweet awesomeness. All right, the race begins. I'm going to offer the trade here, because this Just Guy Wind Scout's way better than my Leaping Master. And then we're going to go ahead and cast this guy. The Bring Low will probably uh, take out the Wind Scout. Because my opponent has a, a Jeskai deck and is pounding through uh, three a turn. That could be scary. By the way, kind of figuring out why my opponent was a little stuck on mana. Didn't draw a lot of lands and is playing a lot of colors. I think it's just Mystic, it might seem. There's a Morph. So my opponent might uh, want to trade morphs. I'm actually okay with that right now. 
still take two through, um, or if my opponent does a block, then we get to use the Timely Horde Maiden and get the Leaping Master back anyway, so. Could even bring low. Probably not, I want to take out the, the Wind's Cat. Oh, that, this is fantastic for us. Ooh, yeah, super grand, in fact. Sweet, sweet value. And our little 5-2 can get pretty big soon if it gets unblocked at some point. Right, taking two in the air. Opponent's still not having enough land. Has a little ramp, but missed the land last turn. So, did my opponent draw the land this turn? No. But we did. So that can get scary. Um, if my opponent wants to block this morph, I'm actually okay with it. can block any of these guys, and I think I'm fine. If I'm not, I can feed of resistance. I think we just bring low and attack. Because this guy's doing a lot for my opponent right now, so I kind of want to kill it anyway. And uh, I'd rather just get some damage through. Let's see if my opponent has anything to keep that guy alive, and that can inform our attacks better. What is there? There's the pump spell, but that's plus two, plus two. I mean, I'm still playing this. If my opponent needs to tap four mana even to do it, that still clears the blocker away. Uh, and we're still getting a huge life hit through. What else are in these colors, though? That's what I'm trying to think about. Awaken the bear. Isn't it plus two, plus two? No, it's plus three, plus three. That's what it is. Okay, well, that's a bummer. Well, oh, I think I'm still attacking. We traded one for one already. These guys are fine trading one for one for the Mystic because it is a card that's important to my opponent right now. I'm just hoping to get uh, a little bit more of a tempo hit in. But keeping my opponent away from mana is great. My opponent, yeah, needs that guy alive, so there you go. And now has the four colors of mana and five mana to do things with. And just plays a morph? Hmm. Not too sure about that with my opponent. Ooh, I like being able to Mardu Warshaker and play Salt Road Patrol next turn. This guy's just a morph, so if it gets a little, you know, conky there, not a big deal. And these guys can trade with any of the thing that's on the board since we're going to be backing up with another 5 power in a second. So, uh, yeah, if you want to clear, let's clear. That's it? Huh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ho. So I can turn this guy into a 5 2. I put my opponent down to 2. Because the Just Guy Wind Scout's about to die, and then I have a lethal guy there. I think I like that idea. Now I have two lethal guys. We'll be able to make this guy flying and have feet of resistance available. If this is a gain six life, uh, that was silly of me. It probably is, huh? It's probably another Abzan guide. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything for one mana, though, that really hoses me. So I think I can feed a resistance and still do lethal. I'm pretty sure that's true. Oh, man, one more mana. So what's... I don't know the cards in the format yet. It's a little too new. I'm trying to think, like, what there is. 
I guess there's the one blue counter target spell, but you can pay one. No, my opponent has Ferocious, so that doesn't work. Um, that's a counter spell. If you have Ferocious, it's just a counter for one blue. One red and one green I don't think has anything. So what's my best bet here? I think we're going to try to bring low again. Does that really hose me? If I attack with both, there's a block, my opponent goes down to four. This guy, yeah, I just need to kill my opponent this turn and go for it with either Feet of Resistance or Bring Low. Feet of Resistance being on the Canyon Lurker is protection from green. Probably the best bet, to be honest. Is there a one mana bounce? I don't think so. I'm going with it. I think this at least protects me from one of the three colors of mana that my opponent can have. Alright, we got there. Cool, yay. Yeah, I think my opponent is playing just a little bit too much of a greedy build and got stumbled on mana in that in that match, so uh, we got, you know, kinda lucky both games. On to the finals.